In this video, we're going to look at the parts of the ear. Here you have the, the whole structure, the whole ear. You have the outer ear, you have the middle ear, and you have the inner ear. So we're going to go through several slides so you can see all of the parts on different models. So out here you have the auricle or the pinna. You have the external auditory canal. And you have the tympanic membrane. You can also see the auditory ossicles. We'll do those more in depth in the next couple slides. You can see the semicircular canals. You can see a part of the cochlea the and also the vestibular cochlear nerve as well as the auditory tube. In this next slide we get a little bit closer. Here you can still see the external auditory canal as it leads to the tympanic membrane. Here you have the three auditory ossicles which are three little bones and there's joints in between those bones. You are going to have to know the three uh, by name. The one, and I'll show you a better picture also in a little bit, but you have the malleus here, the incus, and the stapes is kind of buried in here. So I'll show you a better picture of that in a little bit. You can also see the semicircular canals. The bottom here, this little bulge, is called the ampulla. And this region here is called the vestibule. Within the vestibule, and you can't see it here, is the utricle and the saccule. We also have the cochlea, and we have the vestibular cochlear nerve, and again we have the auditory tube. So we have the external auditory canal, tympanic membrane, the auditory ossicles, the malleus, the incus, and the stapes, the semicircular canals, this little bulge here is the ampulla, the vestibule is this region here, the cochlea, vestibular cochlear nerve, and the auditory tube. Now here you're looking at the three auditory ossicles. Your tympanic membrane would be right in here. So this is going to be the malleus, this is going to be the incus, and then you have the stapes. The stapes would cover what's called the oval window, which is part of the vestibule. Again, tympanic membrane would be here. You have the malleus, the incus, and the stapes. The oval window would be located right here. Here we're looking at the vestibule, the cochlea part of most of the inner ear. Here you have the oval window. The stapes would sit right above that, and the stapes will kind of punch into that oval window. Here you can see the round window. You have the semicircular canals located here. This one's back here. And again here's this little bulge here which is the ampulla. This whole area where you see the oval and round window and the utricle and saccule are also located in there. It's called the vestibule. And here you can see the cochlea. Again oval window, which will sit below the stapes, the round window, semicircular canals, ampulla, the whole area here is called the vestibule, and the cochlea. Again, a different model looking at some of the same structures, semicircular canals, vestibule, and again the utricle and saccule are located in that area. You can see the cochlea here. Looks like a snail. Within the cochlea is the spiral organ of Corti, which is represented here with these structures here. And that's where you're actually going to get the conversion of uh, into action potentials, the sound waves. And here you have the vestibular cochlear nerve that's leaving the cochlea. Again, semicircular canals, ampulla, the little bulge at the bottom, this whole area is the vestibule. Here's your cochlea. Within the cochlea, you have the spiral organ of Corti. Leaving the cochlea, you have the vestibular cochlear nerve. Again, review those parts. Make sure you take the practice test so you're ready to go when you take the real test.